Maternal obesity, defined as a body mass index, BMI, of 30 or higher, can significantly impact pregnancy outcomes for both the mother and the child. These impacts can be categorized into maternal, fetal, and neonatal outcomes. Maternal outcomes. Gestational diabetes mellitus, GDM. Obese women are at a higher risk of developing GDM, which can complicate pregnancy and increase the risk of type 2 diabetes later in life. Hypertensive disorders. This includes conditions like preeclampsia, which is characterized by high blood pressure and can lead to serious complications. Labor and delivery complications. These include an increased likelihood of cesarean delivery, longer labor times, and higher rates of labor induction. Infections. Higher risk of urinary tract infections and postpartum infections. Postpartum hemorrhage. Increased risk of excessive bleeding after delivery. Fetal outcomes. Congenital anomalies. Higher risk of neural tube defects and other congenital anomalies. Macrosomia. Babies born to obese mothers are more likely to be large for gestational age, macrosomia, which can lead to birth injuries and complications during delivery. Preterm birth. Increased risk of preterm delivery. Stillbirth. Elevated risk of stillbirth in pregnancies complicated by maternal obesity. Neonatal outcomes. Neonatal intensive care unit admission. Increased likelihood of NICU admission due to complications such as respiratory distress. Hypoglycemia. Newborns may experience low blood sugar levels shortly after birth. Long-term health risks. Higher risk of childhood obesity and metabolic syndrome. Strategies for managing weight before, during, and after pregnancy. Before pregnancy. Preconception counseling. Women planning to conceive should receive counseling on the risks associated with obesity and the benefits of achieving a healthy weight. Weight loss programs. Structured programs involving diet, exercise, and behavior modification can be effective. Bariatric surgery. For women with severe obesity, bariatric surgery may be an option. However, they should wait 12-24 months post-surgery before conceiving to allow for weight stabilization. During pregnancy. Healthy eating. Focus on a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Avoid high-calorie, low-nutrient foods. Regular exercise. Engage in moderate-intensity activities like walking, swimming, or prenatal yoga. For at least 150 minutes per week. Monitoring weight gain. Follow guidelines for appropriate weight gain based on pre-pregnancy BMI. For obese women, the recommended weight gain is 11-20 pounds, 5-9 kilograms. Prenatal care. Regular prenatal visits to monitor the health of both mother and baby. Manage any complications and provide ongoing nutritional and exercise guidance. After pregnancy. Postpartum weight loss. Gradual weight loss through a combination of healthy eating and physical activity. Breastfeeding can also help with weight loss. Follow-up care. Regular medical checkups to monitor weight and overall health. Support groups. Joining weight loss or parenting support groups can provide motivation and practical advice. Long-term lifestyle changes. Adopting and maintaining healthy lifestyle habits to prevent future obesity and related complications. Conclusion. Maternal obesity poses significant risks to both mother and child impacting pregnancy outcomes and long-term health. However, with appropriate strategies for weight management before, during, and after pregnancy, these risks can be mitigated. Comprehensive care involving healthcare providers, nutritional guidance, and support systems is essential for promoting the health and well-being of both the mother and the child. Thanks for watching this video.